In this video, we will be discussing how to create and utilize the built-in automated storage and retrieval system, also known as an ASRS, within Virtual Factory Professional. In case you don't know what an ASRS is, these are systems used in warehousing to automatically store and retrieve items, optimizing space and improving efficiency. It has been used to replace manual labor and forklifts with automated cranes, shuttles, and robotic mechanisms. To create an ASRS within Virtual Factory, you will first need to make sure you are in the Factory Flow Simulation application within the 3D Experience platform. From here, you need to have a path system already created or use the Generate Path System command. It's located under the Transport Behavior tab of your action bar. When generating a path, you need to ensure that it is an AGV pathway. All other parameters are entirely up to you and what you are trying to achieve. Once you have a path, under the Transport Behavior tab there will be a drop-down with the command Define ASRS Transport. Once selected, you will be asked to enter the parameters to define your ASRS. Here you have control of the AGV, the lift, and the pusher's geometric parameters such as the height, width, and lengths. The next step is to simply choose a starting point on the pathway where your ASRS will begin at the start of simulation runs. Like all working resources within Virtual Factory Professional, users need to create a worker pool for the ASRS. From here, we need to tell the ASRS the specific points on the pathway that picks and drops will occur. To do this, we need to create AGV decision points. When placed, each of these decision zones can allow us to either add a load activity or an unload activity. As a reminder, these load and unload activities are operations that will occur at the AGV decision zone. Meaning that in order for our ASRS to pick up a part at a specific point, we needed a decision zone with a load activity. The same for dropping off a part at one of the shells in the model. In our example, we will have our ASRS pick up parts at the product storage area. It will then drop off the parts cyclically between the two outer shelving units in the model. Now that I have my decision zones, I need to tell my system the routes that my ASRS will be taking between them. To do this, there is a command called route group definition. This route group enables the ASRS to determine which tasks need to be completed and in what order they should be completed. More specifically, you are telling the system where your route will begin and the target location that the ASRS will go to. Virtual Factory Professional enables us to choose different methods of how our ASRS will decide on which decision zone will go to. You can choose the closest free resource, the next free resource, and even the least utilized resource to help with balancing your system. All that is left is to create the product flows, telling the system how the boxes will move about our facility. When we run, we can now see that our ASRS is functioning as intended. If you notice, our ASRS is actually rotating when it grabs a part. We can change this behavior by editing the properties of it. Within the Properties window, we can change tons of parameters such as whether the ASRS rotates or simply reverses. 
We can change the accelerations with a part loaded versus empty and more. All of this can have a direct impact on warehousing solutions. And that wraps up our deep dive into creating an ASRS using Virtual Factory Professional. Whether you're an engineer, student, or manufacturing professional, mastering these virtual tools opens the door to smarter, more efficient facility planning. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about Virtual Factory Professional, reach out to your local reseller. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.